Namaste, love and light, star seeds. I hope all is well with you guys. I send y'all my love and light abundance and prosperity. Okay, happy Saturday, happy Saturday. I hope you guys have a disciplined day today. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get started, star seeds. All right, yeah, yeah, see, somebody's been trying to block your intuition still. This is the problem. Somebody's constantly trying to block your intuition. They want to be intuitive and magical like you. Okay. Yeah, your intuition is correct. Take action accordingly. Yeah, I feel like you're heading towards a lot of prosperity. Waves of prosperity is like on the way. New abundance and exciting opportunities watch over you now. Yeah, I feel like you guys are about to receive a lot of abundance. <coughs> and it's funny because I just say you're heading towards it. So the energy you're heading towards is prosperity and abundance. So it's almost like the energy coming your way is meant for you because you're in alignment with that. Like... I feel like you got you guys are gonna be extremely prosperous. Extremely prosperous. I feel like you guys may wake up every morning or pray or you may need to do that. Alright. I feel like y'all gonna be extremely prosperous. I see prosperity on the way. Keep dreaming big and keep healing. Somebody could be trying to stop you from healing or like healing from that cycle that you came out of with them because they don't want you to move on. Alright, but that's yeah, they're trying to like do all type of crazy stuff to you in the spirit but it's, it's not working trying to affect your heart somehow this is someone that made like a bad decision and they really need to like pay more attention to what they're doing to like their life because they don't realize how they it's almost like they're trying to like i guess numb the pain that they're dealing with like this is someone that know they got an effed up life but focusing on you makes them feel better like you're not their savior all right, I feel like this person is holding back a lot, and they're trying to hold you back a lot. This is, and they're also trying to get in your head a lot about other people and what other people are doing to you, but they don't want to talk about what they've done. All right, I feel like this person they need to be put to rest, like put down. I don't know, but they need to like stop being so dramatic. All right, I feel like they're very two faced. All right, they're not really helpful. They're very manipulative. That's just manipulation. All right, I feel like this person is trying to stay attached to you. Like, it's like they're trying to, like, I'm getting, like, chains. Like, even if they got to chain you to them, like, this is, it's like they're trying to say, like, I, they see you slipping away, getting away, or feel you getting away. Like, you been got away. This person is all in their head. Like, they're caught up in some type of fantasy in their mind. Like, and they believe that it's real it's out there. I feel like this person needs to get a job, okay? That's what Spirit is saying. This karmic needs to get a job. I feel like you guys are focusing on self-employment. And I feel like you're making a lot of money from your self-employment, your business. And there's a lot more blessings on the way with the synchronicity. It's almost like there's signs everywhere showing and proving that you're about to... Well, when, I get, when I say proven, I'm getting improvements. Like you made improvements or you're improving. You guys going to need approved for something. Big fat approval. This could be like a, a loan, credit card. Maybe you're getting like a, I'm getting a credit card loan. I don't know if you guys are asking your credit card company for like a bigger amount. Or maybe you're going to get a loan within your credit card company. Maybe your credit card company tied with your bank. All right. Um, what else I was about to say? Um, yeah, but I feel like you guys showed and proved. You showed out for yourself. And it's like, it's signs is everywhere. Like people can see like you're leveling up. And it's time for them to move on. But a part of them want to stay. It's like that, what if they still stuck in there? What if we do get back together? What if we are meant to be friends? You know, like that, what if? And they need to let that go. I feel like they try to empower off of you a lot. That's weird. Like they want to feel or gain empowerment from you. Like they want you to empower them. And it got to it gotta be the other way around. Well, they need to empower themselves. They want to be intuitive like you. They want to do what you do. That's what I'm getting. Whatever you do online, they may get up every morning and pray to be just like you, even to be with you. That's ridiculous. This person don't realize, like, you guys are probably, like, on the verge of, like, cursing them out because they're, like, they're too attached and they know that they're too attached to you. It's not a good thing. Yeah, with this make a wish here, oh, my gosh, I feel like you, I'm here to make a wish foundation. Is somebody a part of the make a wish foundation? What is, what is that? Is that make a wish foundation? Was, like, politicians a part of that? I'm getting also, like, a politician come to mind with that foundation. All right? something about the make a wish foundation i'm getting it's a cover-up okay and i'm seeing yeah i'm seeing this corrupt yeah some corrupt files here now for some of you guys this mercury retrograde may corrupt some of your files i'm getting this mercury retrograde co corrupted a lot of those elite files here and i'm getting that's a good thing they lost a lot of quote-unquote important files even about like the stars because so, you know they calculate the stars certain things that they claim that 
they already in a loop about that's supposed to happen in extra astrology astrology oh wait up uh, astrologically all right i feel like that was removed here okay something with nasa yeah ooh, ooh. they're they not gonna talk about this on the news but i feel like there's gonna be a lot of malfunctions with nasa okay um i'm here in tuscany all right the color blue forest green i'm here orange green all right Um, some of you guys could be wearing like a gold hoop earrings or like hoop nose ring and it could be gold or silver. Yeah, you guys are magical. I feel like, you see, you guys, it's like somebody could be really crossed up and confused about the type of magic that you do. But I'm getting like this magic all around you. You guys use the elements, nature to manifest. You, you guys may speak things out into existence. All right. You may pray and believe. And what, what you praying, okay, this could even be visualizing things into success. Yeah, you guys are, like, choosing to set your sights higher. I feel like for, the, for a lot of you guys, the magic that you do is <clears throat> just setting your sights higher and, and thinking bigger for yourself. And you guys know your mind is a computer that creates your reality, that projects your reality. So however you think about your life and the mind projects your reality. So, you know, I feel like that's what you guys are doing. All right, you guys are choosing to think positive, so your reality will be positive. All right, somebody may not believe their thoughts can form their reality, but it really can. I mean, it's energy, so everything is energy. If somebody does not understand or believe everything is energy, even cars, it's energy. All that was formulated, created with energy. It all started with a piece of energy. <coughs> all right, and, you know, you don't got to be a scientist to figure this stuff out because there's research online, there's videos, okay? At least not a certified one. A lot of us are certified in the spirit, certified scientists. This is how we can break down and figure out physics and all that. All right, but I feel like somebody mind is hurting. Like somebody head hurt so bad. Like they head hurt so bad, and it's like they're so dizzy. They're like they they know they third eye crossed up, and they know why they're going through this. And and it's. It's not because of their third eye power is or ascension ascension symptoms. There ain't no third eye elevation. If that's what they was thinking, their third eye upgrading, like, no, like, this person is going through something. And it's behind their spell work. They don't want to say it. They don't want to say it. They don't want to talk about it. But this person feel like they're dying. All right. A lot of the times they don't want to talk about it. They can't stay optimistic anymore. They're like stuck in like a dead place, a dead zone. And they want it to be like you because they see that you are in life. You are still enlightened and they are in darkness. But, you know, for a lot of you guys, like I say, your divine magic is just you thinking positive. Even if you burn a few candles, you positive that you know it's going to manifest it's going to work out for you if you know you pray like i said you are you put work and action behind your prayer and, and you are hopeful you have faith all right i just feel like you guys think very positive <clears throat> that's why i'm telling you guys to continue to think positive keep thinking positive about your business your life your healing even about your mind you know you know just think positive thoughts like think that you have a positive mindset like my mindset is positive now don't be out here thinking you have a positive mindset and you're out here doing bullshit like no obviously you gotta do right okay so just think positive and think positive highly of yourself think positive of your mind like you are intelligent you are wise all right i but i feel strongly like somebody man they it's like they can't talk they can't speak about what they're going through and and they it's I don't know if they can't see. They could be going blind. Okay. This person, they can't speak about it. Like, they can't talk about it anymore. They can't speak or talk about what they're feeling or going through. They can't. Yeah, I feel like they're all in their head. They want to reach out to somebody, but they can't. It's like they're stuck. And somebody, I feel like this person can't see. And I'm getting like out the third eye, but they could be going blind in the physical too, y'all. Listen, this is someone, you want to know why they're going blind though? Especially in the spirit is because this is someone that was like watching you too hard and heavy in the spirit because of your gifts. This is someone that was watching your gifts too with this treasure chest of getting your gifts. And they saw it and they couldn't keep their eyes off for it. So it's like they had to go blind. They, they, they had to be in that energy of not seeing so they can stop obsessing and really focus on their life. It's like 
this person really didn't want to focus on their on their self they wanted to focus on you something with their mind man i'm telling y'all it's like they can't speak about it they can't speak about it what is this this is someone that's going to like stay trapped in like their room or their house all day it's like they can't even accept heaven's help even if they wanted to, I, honestly, I feel like the heavens is not is, is not accepting them. All right, with this protection here, friendship, you guys are being protected against a friend, a fake friend. Father God is protecting you. Know you where somebody does not believe in God. This person does not believe in God, and it's like they almost like try to strip or remove like that God's life from you. It's almost like they were trying to say, you know, there's no God, you're your own God, blah, 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 like some type of, but it was like coming from like a Satanist type of way. You know, I, they don't believe, they don't believe in God in their heart. I feel like this person have a, a, a demon in them that got them this way. This is why they can't speak or say anything because they know why. This person don't have God in them. They may project that they do. They may try to, it's, it's weird because this is someone that will say there's no God. Blah blah blah. But then they'll switch up and be like, "Oh, <clears throat> you know, I have God around me. I have God protecting me." You know what I'm saying? It's weird. Or maybe I was dealing with two different energies where somebody was not really effing with, you know, God and all that. And somebody else that would pose like they love God, but their actions speak louder than words. Okay, literally. All right. But I feel like this person is also not protected, and they know that, and that's why they're scared. And they look at you and see you're protected. And that's like it for them. Like they're done. It's over with. That's the vibe that I'm getting from them. But they should have been exploring their options. They was so like possessive. And it was. It's like there was passion of being like possessive over you. This is why they held on to you for so long. Because they was passionate about it. And passionate about planning your energy. Trying to make it seem like they was trying to help you. When really they was trying to spite you. Hurt you. And I feel like y'all saw the signs. Yeah, I knew better. I feel like, yeah, positive energy. I feel like positive, thinking positive and you and, like, allowing positive energy in is going to help break those chains that you could have been feeling around you, your energy. Now, this person was trying to do a lot to restrict you from thinking positive and being in positive energy so you can stay trapped. And that energy worked on them. They could have been trying to send all that energy back to you, but there's nothing to send back to you because you never sent it to them in the first place. So this person, I feel like their mind is all messed up because how the way they was even thinking how magic worked does not work that way. This is why, again, they can't speak about it. They can't speak on it. It's like this is someone that can't even keep up with, with their thoughts or what they're thinking. They may not be able to remember. They may not even they, they probably don't even know what they're saying. They're like saying things, but they can't remember or they have no control of what they're saying. They have no control over what they're saying. Okay, they could be possessed here. Yeah, people could be like, oh my God, shocked. Their mom could be shocked. I feel like they're going to end up hurting their mom or breaking their mom's heart. And they're going to need their mom's forgiveness in the end. This is someone that like broke their relationship with their mom here. They're looking at you like you're positive. You, like, yeah, this is how they used to look at like was watching. you looking at you projecting like, oh, you're so positive. You and all this positive energy. And, you know, I'm, I'm weighed and tied down and changed all this negativity and they felt like the only way to get out of it is to come towards you and, 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 and be in the same energy that you're in. But this person don't realize what you've gone through. <coughs> it was your negativity of, that you've gone through in life is what made you such a positive person. And, made, and it shifted your outlook because you got tired of dealing with the negativity. You, you decided to take control <coughs> of your reality. Take back control of your reality. It's like this person, they have a hard time seeing it this way. So they wanted to dumb you down so you won't see it either. A lot of you guys, you guys was listening to music. You used music to manifest. Rather, it was meditation music. All right, music that just kept you in a positive um, element, a positive mindset. All right, y'all just did what y'all had to do to shift your reality. It's like your life wasn't always perfect. And this person want to know pretty much what did you do to shift your life? And you just decided to think positive and to heal and they they have a hard they they having a hard time thinking positive it's like their mind is not at peace star sees their their mind is like gone that's what i'm getting like there's no like like mind like there's no mind there it's almost like they're like brainless or some shit like that it's weird all right oh my god i just saw something brutal and oh my goodness grace you see this person try to steal your third eye vision a lot so they can see like you and be like you spiritually and i feel like 
y'all. That them doing that got them in this sunken place, y'all. They they listen, they can't speak of it. They can't speak on how they feeling. All right, this is crazy, but you're heading towards your will of fortune here. Look, the star, you're chosen, star see You're chosen for, for um, love and fortune. Not the, and and the thing is, this person they may feel like they're not chosen for these things, but if they were to heal, they would be able to unlock the unlimited potentials that's in store for them. All right, that the gods and their true ancestors align them with. All right, but if they don't do the work. I feel like this person heard that bird hear it. I feel like this person is confused about who they are spiritually. They don't know what their purpose is. They see you and they watch you and they feel like that's their purpose. I feel like their purpose was to heal. All right, and define. Their strengths and to find their potentials, and they might have said they 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 feel that connection with whatever your destiny is, whatever. I feel like it's spirituality. They may feel like you know I'm meant to be a spiritualist too, like you. I'm meant to do this. Could be an ex, you guys. They gotta resonate, and not to say that they're not, but they y'all don't have the same vision. Y'all don't have the same divine blueprint. Yeah, and, and listen, I feel like this person don't have the same destiny as you. They they're carrying around this energy of they have a destiny they're chosen but it's heavy all right i told you it's an ex okay a masculine this heavy energy that they're carrying they don't know what their destiny is they don't know tell me where my robots card all right go they don't even know if they're celestial or not i'll tell you money could be a fixed sign aquarius this person, they're so confused about their destiny. They're so confused, and they wanted to confuse you, and they got karma. All right? They got karma. I feel like they could have been trying to figure out who their ancestors are, but they can't. They got confused. They try to copy your destiny. You guys can tap into that. You could have helped them. You see, the thing is, this person is confused, I'm telling you. Because they're like, is they looking at things wrong? I'm knocking at the door. Money. They're looking at things wrong. And this is their karma. They're meant to be confused. They're, they're meant to be stuck in this confusion until they do the proper healing work. All right? I feel like this person could have sold. They sold. All right? And that's when they could have lost everything that, they, that was once supposed to be inherited for them. If they would have just healed. They were supposed to heal. And you could have told them that. Just heal. Just heal. They disconnected themselves from their ancestors and their ancestral power by going towards the devil side. Satanism, demonology, that's not a part of their bloodline. Understand this person was trying to this this person was trying to tap in way too fast. And they were trying to tap into things before you. And it was too fast. You see, this person is juggling. You know, they were trying to tap into light and dark. And they, they didn't even master their light. And the darkness they were tapping into was too heavy for them. Too heavy for them in the mind. You know, and then they, they crossed up all Khafu's in their crown. Woman, they think they have a crown, a gift. All right, but the thing is, they, they, they think that their crowning is like you. And then they try to even steal your crowning. This is ridiculous, Starseeds. You are high priestess. You see, this is the problem. They keep trying to like mimic your crown, copy your crown, your crowning, you know, almost like steal or mirror the energy of your crown. They want, I keep, when I look at this will of fortune, I get low vibrational energy and I, and I, I keep feeling, and this is what I'm saying. I keep feeling like this person, they want your destiny. Like, they want a destiny like you. I'm telling you, five of cups. This person is, listen, they don't know what their destiny is. That's why they want a destiny like you, because truly, they don't know what their destiny is. And this person want to crisscross and confuse you and, and use some high-ass spells to confuse you, and they got karma, man. Y'all stronger than this. Y'all really stronger than what this person trying to put you through, and it's not your energy. Whatever you could be feeling, that's confusion. 
and all that it's not your energy it's definitely not your energy you're stronger than whatever it is stop money that they're trying to make you feel or anything like that it's not yours all right this person man they're trying to deny all that they put you through all that they done but it's like this person can't even like look at you straight in the face and say that they didn't do these things but they could be denying it to other people but they can't deny it to you star seeds yeah man because you intuitive damn man this person they're blocked they're, this is their judgment i don't know why they keep trying y'all all these damn major arcanas the devil got them but they keep trying why they keep i don't get why they keep trying if they know their third eye is blocked why do they keep trying if they know their third eye is blocked? Because they see you prosperous and they listen, y'all. You are, listen, listen, you are their inspiration. But I don't know if that's a good thing be, for them right now because it's like they're not taking proper action. They see you getting up every day, doing what you got to do. Okay, so they're like, oh, I, I want to do that too, but they're not in that proper energy three of pentacles and they keep listen they it's like the plans that they thinking that they can do is not going to work and in the past they was planning a lot to try to work against you and it did not work there was a whole group the group is dismantled and it's just them and they think that they can plan and they know that they can't plan against you anymore because they already did so much and this person i feel like i don't know what's going on with them in the head they're going crazy they're going it's spiraling out all right <clears throat> things is backfiring on them with the fool here okay they're full they're like they got the devil riding them man and up and, and i feel like other people is like gonna be like seeing them go through this devil like energy trying to like hold them back fight them off yeah man this thing <clears throat> this could have happened in the past and it's going to happen again it was spiraling out before and people had to like defend themselves against this person and they're going to try to do it again it's like the little inner devil just be coming out of them yo they see you successful and it drives them crazy Ridiculous. I'm gonna flip my um my deck upside down. Nope. There we go. Yeah, you gotta flip my deck upside down. I feel like that will of fortune that star was yeah they said they ain't facing no bad karma but they're getting their ass whipped spiritually they are in denial y'all they at least they was I feel like they can't see they lost the listen tower yeah you see I'm telling you somebody been lost their gift of sight but they won't walk away from you they listen they listen they listen they could have lost their spirit a long time ago they soul could have walked out of their body all right, they could have sold their soul, okay? They could have lost it through trauma, through the spiritual attacks here, okay? You know, I said I'm going to split my cards in reverse. I'm still putting them up right anyway. <laughs> ah. Yeah, this person, they wanted you murdered. That's sad. They wanted you murdered, and they was going crazy in their damn head. This person was going crazy. And other people were seeing it. This was wild. They can't blame you for this. This got nothing to do with y'all. All right? They little craziness that they got going on in their head. All right? Please. You, you ain't got them doing all this extra stuff. Hold on, let me flip my cards back, y'all. I don't in this Mercury retrograde. I made a decision. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna flip them reverse. But once one came in reverse, I'm like, it didn't feel right. I love my cards upright and just read them. 
whenever they do flip out reverse or whatever. I haven't read reverses in a long time. Thank you guys for tuning in, by the way, and um, supporting me and, you know, believing in me and my reads. Because without you guys' support, I would not be here, okay? But there's a Queen of Wands that was involved, and she's getting out of it now, okay? She wanted your intuition, too. All these people want your intuitive gifts, and it's not going to work. They know it's not going to work, but they keep trying, thinking it's going to work, and it's never going to work. All right, I feel like this Queen of Wands caught a tower moment, moment already. Four of Pentacles. I feel like she could be mad, holding a grudge, but she had to walk away. She holding a grudge because she got her ass whooped. The magic got sent back. Yeah, and I feel like it's not that these people don't have no destiny. If they did, listen, they'll just follow their own life. All right, and 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 they okay. It's like even their own life path. Like I don't know what that is. They can look up their life path number, all right, or they can just follow their heart, okay? Now, they feel like that's a hard time for them to do that. They need to heal. This goes right back to healing. They need to heal. That's all they need to do and just, just keep doing what they fucking doing. That's it, all right? If this queen of wands already had her own job or business and she was trying to copy you, she's realized that she just need to keep doing what she's doing and stay away from you because y'all not the same. Yeah, she's depressed. And I feel like she, I'm hearing missed out on you. This queen of wands is mad because she... Or sad because she missed out an opportunity with you. She could be mentally ill or she was stressing out over you. Somebody's crying because they missed an opportunity with you. All right. This Queen of Wands, I feel like she was like, you know. Once sad about like, you know, like I, I was like getting like depressed, carrying like that depressed energy because her spells wasn't working. But I feel like she had a final tower and she's realizing like the shit is never going to work. But she had a reality check. Like she snapped back into reality. <clears throat> but she was stressing and sad over you because you were living in your purpose and she felt like she was being restricted from her destiny. It doesn't make any sense because whatever she was doing was already meant for her. Was, was meant for her. She didn't have to try to be like you. Now whoever this masculine is, I feel like he tries to be like everybody. That's just what it is. He tries to be like everybody and he denies it and say he's not trying to be like anyone. Everyone is all in his in his mind, in his head. It's, this is what he was saying in the past. All right, and now it's like he can't even think straight. It's like he can't say anything. Yeah, this King of Pentacles, he once was feeling strong, feeling in his power, but that was just false power. That was never his power. He needs to heal to generate his own power. It's like he was trying to generate power from like other people or like from spirits, asking the spirits to give him power and the spirits tricked him into believing that that was real or that, you know, that they were going to give him his power, give him power. Just to like, it's almost like the spirits tricked them into believing that it was true. They had the spirit's power. They was in their power. This is what they was doing. They was either asking the spirits to like put tap them, help them tap into their power. All right. Or, you know, give me some of your power. And the spirits had them thinking that they was in their power. All right. Or in the spirit's power. Right. And I feel like them thinking that had them all like abrasive and had them all like, you know, in their feelings too. But, like, it's, it's, it's weird because I'm seeing this person, quote, unquote, in their power. But they're crying. Okay. They're chaotic. They moving off fast. They're not thinking straight. So, whatever power they was asking for definitely is not um, theirs or meant for them. Okay. And if they was asking the spirits to help them tap into their own power, there's no way that I don't feel like they was asking the spirits. I feel maybe because I'm getting this energy from the karmic's mind. Like this is what they was thinking and this is what they was showing people and stuff like that. If anybody's still out here believing this karmic, please don't believe this karmic. All right, but I'm seeing the truth. All right, this person was like telling people they asking the spirits to help them tap into their power so they can be gifted and it will help them, you know, get a job or whatever like that. Or they could be doing magic to help them get a job. They was telling that to somebody. Some lame excuse could be a mom. Okay, but um, anyway, I don't feel like that was true because when they was like getting all possessed in this power, it's like they couldn't control it. I feel like they was asking the spirits to give them your power. And yeah, they could have been asking the spirits to help them tap into their power, but I feel like they was like they was doing both, asking the spirits to take their power and give it to them, and then also asking the spirits to tap into their power too. Their power contradicts your power because your power is more potent and stronger than theirs. 
All right, you may be clairvoyant. They may not be clairvoyant. That may not even run in their bloodline. Okay, maybe every, you know, clear audience, that may not run in their bloodline. You get what I'm saying? <clears throat> so, not everyone have the gift of sight. Not everyone does. Like, yeah, we can all see, but not everyone have the gift to see deep within. They're just not chosen to do so. But I feel like this person was denying the fact that they was abrasive, but they was, and people can see it. Three of Wands, yeah, and they was coming for you. That's what I'm getting. Like, they was coming for you with this Three of Wands. Like, thinking about traveling f towards you or sending you a tax. All right, want to stop you from ascending, want to hold you back here from your prosperity. Look at all these awards you have. I told you guys have a plaque of, um, of rewards in the heavens. You may have a lot of rewards in the 3D here, okay? You're very fruitful. You're chosen here. You're wise. This person was coming for you because you're growing and rising, and they're emotional narcissists. They're they having a hard time moving on, Star Seeds. They're having a hard time moving on and they're having a hard time tapping into their little magical side because they drained it. They don't want to believe that they lost their power. All right. By trying to, sub, sub, you know, tap into your subconscious. They were doing a lot subconsciously in the dark, in secret, and they ended up losing doing that, doing all. And they and they keep doing spell work. And it's like close. And, and listen, the more they do spell work, the more the cycle close out. For you and them. It's never going to be open. But the more it just closes out. Can continue to close out. Be closed. Alright. But I'm getting. It's like. The more they do spells. To open up the cycle. Spirit closes it back. That's what I'm getting. Literally. Yeah. They call themselves a magician. It's false king of cups. Who's having a hard time moving on. And that's very abrasive. Alright. And very combative. And very much on defense mode with you. It's like every time he try to open up the portal. For y'all to get back together. Open up a portal. To send an entity, a spirit, bad energy, it, it's, that cycle is closed. That portal is closed and sent back to this person. All right, now these people, they could have been confused about back descenders trying to figure them out. Whoever this Queen of Swords is that claims she's intelligent, she was trying to break down back descenders like it only happened this way or that way. And that's not true. It can happen any, any way. As long as somebody's sending, sending some shit that does not belong to somebody else, it's going to be sent back. And I feel like, you know, this Queen of wands queen of swords try to be like you this queen of cups you're very wise and intuitive you the impress honestly and i feel like you're more intelligent than this queen of swords you know more about i'm getting voodoo <coughs> you know more about <coughs> voodoo than her you understand that voodoo is spirituality she just look at it as magic that's just like you know the i'm hearing the abilities this person is so obsessed with like your abilities here, your ability to do this, your ability to do that, or the, like the magic <coughs> ties, magical ties with voodoo. Okay, this person like could have been obsessed with magic, and they want to deny that too. But they was, they was obsessed with it. They was because in their mind they thought that it, it can work for anything. Like they, it's almost like they got access to it, and they allowed it to get to their head. And it does happen to a lot of people. It does. I even had my moments when I was like, you know, had my adrenaline going and, and I was manifesting a lot. Every new moon, full moon cycle, I was manifesting. I was, but I wasn't doing no damn curses or hexes, okay? I was trying to manifest a new life and I got it. Now I just got to learn how to maintain it, not allow certain people in to try to destroy it. That's who's going to, who's going to try to destroy it. But these people were trying to say, you lost your gifts. You're not intuitive, but you are so intuitive. They're always trying to block your intuition. And I feel like for a lot, it's like they also trying to block you from knowing where it's coming from. But it's, it's like for a lot of you guys know where it was coming from. It was a whole group. Remember, I told you that. Now the group is 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 dismantled. All right. Or if it's, remember, my videos are timeless. All right. So if, if the group is together, they're falling apart. I feel like they're fall, it's falling apart. Honestly, right now, I feel like it's falling apart. They all mad at each other. Or they mad not have talked to each other in a while. Like, this could have been, like, up to three to four weeks. Like, it's been a while. Or they could have just be small talk. You get what I'm saying? But it's not like how it used to be. I feel like this person needs to pick up their trash. They need to clean up their mess. They made a mess. They need to clean it up. All right? I feel like people want to say that about you. You need to clean up your mess. They need to clean up their mess, too. For some of you guys, I'm getting you got kids. This is going to be, like, legit messy. Like, somebody could be saying, like, you need to clean up your mess or clean up after your kids. But I'm getting that you do. And whatever mess that your kids make is fine. It's not a big deal. Like, somebody may not have children or understand, you know, what it's like living with kids, okay, and how 
things change with kids i'm getting element why well, i keep getting element in. you know why what is nobody don't i'm getting this person don't understand the elements of having kids and how when you have kids it changes the elements of everything like you gotta you know also work with your children's energy and not to the point where they're running you but you got to get adjusted and this is just what it is does somebody need to get adjusted with having kids maybe this is an ex who had a hard time adjusting to the fact that you have children okay and they, they could have put on like they was fine with it but they really wasn't okay like they really don't like children they don't like being around children they feel like you know children could either be too mess messy too loud all right and they try to project that on everybody else like everybody feel the same way they could have projected that they wanted children with you and they maybe they did but just to like control you and trap you <clears throat> they really i feel like this is someone they will project like i will be there for the kid i will bond but when the time comes, like, their mind is spiraling out. Like, they're going crazy. Or, like, I, I'm telling you, like, their mind is always on defense mode. It's always to, like, defend themselves against you and whoever else is coming to challenge them. They claim, yeah, this person is karmic. And they feel like they're, they're like, you know, receiving karmic justice. Or they feel like they are karma. Like, anyone who do them wrong get karma. It's the other way around. This, this is someone they didn't realize when they was facing you, standing in front of you, they were standing in front of karma. Okay, universe herself, I'm hearing. You will hold divine feminine. Okay? You will create her goddess. They didn't, they didn't know who they were standing before. When they <clears throat> were standing in front of you. Or wherever they were standing. When, whenever they said so they didn't know who, who they quote unquote claimed they was in love with. They claimed you a clone. You ain't no clone. You, you a fresh star seed. Right out of the stars. Fresh out of the stars. Okay? You are chosen, and that's just what it is. They don't like the fact that you're chosen and the fact that you love that you've chosen. All right, you're a divine feminine, like I said, and it was all in their head about you because you're a divine feminine. And they felt like they finally felt a, found a divine feminine, and that's you. But then they will talk about you and call you ugly, say you're not all that special, you ain't driving a nice car, or you ain't driving nothing fancy, or your car color is ugly. All right, they will always, like, insult you and then will lie and say they're not insulting you. Like, this person will low-key do drugs. They could be shooting up needles. This is bad. All right, and I feel like this person was also trying to steal from you, steal from your ace of cups. This is just what it is, you guys. I mean, like, I feel like it really bothers and hurt this person's head, their heart, that this is coming out, that you know this, that, that I'm talking about this. They, listen, they could be, like... Yeah, you see, they was watching you on a fake account. Now they about to block you. They be blocking you and then unblocking you. I'm telling you, this person is karmic. They're unhinged. They'll block you and then unblock you. They're, and then when it's like, and sometimes when they will unblock you, they'll be in their mind optimistic, like, yeah, we're gonna get back together. Like that's that's the only time they think positive. But they don't realize you like you in a whole nother reality paradigm. You're not in that energetic space where you're open to give them a second chance because the last time was the last time they always wish and think about back back when y'all was in the past when y'all were together like they just wish that y'all can go back in time and change things they're always trying to drag you back in the past remember when this happened that happened remember when i was there for you and this and that and it's like yeah and you was there for them too and they took advantage of it and they be like and they even told their family how you was there for them. <clears throat> and then they want to tell their family, oh, they was drunk. They, they didn't mean that. No, they did mean it. You was there for them. And they did tell their family you was there for them getting a mom again. They told everybody how you was there for them when they was sad and down and out without you. Then the moment they'll get back in their ego, that little demon possessed them. Okay, that's when they want to be like, oh, you know, you're this, you're that. Like, their true colors come out. Their true colors is that they're two-faced. They'll say one thing, but the moment that you do something that triggers them, they'll switch up on you. And that shows that this person has no boundaries. They have no self-respect. All right, so they're not going to respect you. Self-respect is even having <clears throat> the respect for others. Having enough respect to, like, you know what, keep your mouth closed. I'm not even going to go there and, and, and scoop low and, 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 and say this and say that to some about somebody who's not harming me and, who, and who's not hurting me. You get what I'm saying? And it's like, this is somebody that be like, I feel your energy. I feel your energy coming back. But yet, you never come back. They wake up every day. You're not there. It's like, they be hoping to wake up and then you are there. You're not going to just pop up in the house. How are you going to get there? You're going to climb through a window, climb down the chimney with you, Santa Claus. Like, how the hell are you going to get there? This person, <clears throat> I feel like they just, with this page of wands, the page of wands could be optimistic, very creative. 
and colorful i feel like they have potential but they're channeling it in the wrong way in the wrong well they're channeling it wrong they, they're putting it in the wrong energies and frequencies they should use this to create their own life but they got so much demons around them that's not theirs understand they called in other demons to help them to help take you down send you a tower to help block your intuition and it's blocking their intuition <clears throat> them demons don't want you they want this karma you got too much <clears throat> protection you went too much in the hot like you're not one of these people that can be tampered with and they thought that you could regardless of your connection with the universe <clears throat> regardless of your 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 um belief in god and the universe and all that they still was thinking that they can take you down with a demon and the demon tricked them honestly they tricked themselves y'all they tricked themselves but if they felt quote unquote intuitively that the demon was going to get you it got this person and, and and if that happened it happened to trick this karmic all right but they may not even feel like they have potential they may feel like you know they wasted all their energy or they just feel like they did too much in their past i feel like their past is being exposed especially them planning to work against you everybody in the group is telling on this person like how this person <clears throat> you know did this and wanted to do that and told them this all right i'm seeing there's a what a duck or a geese or, or a goose watching you or a swan in the spirit okay honestly i saw like <coughs> a duck but it could also be a geese or a swan that's why all three of them came to me all right y'all could be heavily watched by birds you remember we had that bird chirping earlier even though it's a different type of bird but it's still a bird so you know it still connects birds can be significant for you all right you remember we talked about those i think they call avion star beings that are like part bird that's connected with like hair rule and such they're coming to my mind's eye too they could be watching you which is why all these other birds on earth is watching you all right the winds is even watching you that's the spirits within the winds all right you listen this communication within the wind the spirits talk to you in the winds all right if you meditate outside you may hear a lot <clears throat> yeah you a deep high priest this is why they want to be with you because of your power and, and it's like you inspire them to want to get their life together but when they had you they took advantage of you they can't it's like they want to go back in time they cannot go back in time with you they listen they probably listen they could in the spirit in a sense of like imagination like they could think about it and envision it all the time all right and they can probably feel that connection like they really feel it's happening but in reality that's that's good that's in the quantum space now pat that past that's in the quantum space it's no longer in the physical the physical is linear it just keeps going it's straight you can't go back in the past unless you're in the quantum and it doesn't work the way this person thinks that they can just you know i guess relive their past over and over and over again and you know up until they get the best result i don't know i don't know how they're thinking of it i don't know but everything in it is wrong okay it's wrong and they need to clear their space because they just can't travel in the time and just you know make you be there too like drag you back in the past like not living in a past paradigm a past timeline but it's like it doesn't make sense because in the physical y'all somewhere else they can't make you even miss those memories because you know that was their energy that wasn't your energy for a lot of you guys y'all realizing like that was their energy that you was feeling back then and that car turned on its confirmation it was their energy and yeah you know you was you did like it and enjoy it and feel it but it's over now with the world you moved on they're like i can't believe it. how can you just move on from me like that i thought you loved me i thought you were in love with me and it's like you know no you the thing is you can't love somebody like that love is not unconditional when someone is giving you love conditionally love is the type of love that you need and have in your heart to give they don't have that to give you in return so you will be empty they could be, they trying to say yes i can yes i can i can do this give me another chance but there's no other chances they stuck in the past they're still listen they still could be in love with you where i feel like a lot of y'all even know they was in love with you they could have questioned if you was in love with them and they think that you wasn't i honestly you guys Y'all don't have feelings for them. Y'all don't have feelings for them. Maybe it's like, not the way that they think. 
okay maybe you are grateful for whatever they could have done and for whatever they did teach you and even the lesson that you learned coming out of it even whatever they did to you <clears throat> you know it taught you a lesson and you're grateful for that all right <clears throat> but you know all that extra stuff it's like the, the bad does not outweigh the i mean sorry the, the good does not outweigh the bad the bad outweighs the good all right and this person they need to get out of confusion it's like they, they need to stop it's like it's time for them to move on yeah right when i said that six of swords and it's like they can't even speak on what they did to you in the past what they're thinking about what they're thinking about they can't speak on it they just have to move on from it all right but it's like they caused you a lot of pain And this person want to say they're so powerful they can do all these things for you i don't see how they can't do it for themselves i feel like this person just a con artist y'all with this judgment here i feel like this person already done they they already know what's up they already know what's up with them i don't know why they trying to come to you with, like they're so powerful and all this this i'm this is someone that's desperate as hell to be with you they're so desperate to be with you and you are not desperate to be, you do not feel that way they feel they feel like you feel that way because they they feel that way. They're projecting. You don't feel that way. Yeah, you are not in love with them. They could be feeling somebody else's energy. Are you in love with somebody else? Yeah, that's probably what they're feeling. You in love with somebody else. You listen, you celebrating with somebody else, reconcile with somebody else. All right. And then they trying to call them the devil. You with somebody new. And they trying to call that person the devil. Or or you're waiting on your divine counterpart. It's your divine counterpart. All right, yeah. Mm -hmm. They all trying to say that's not your divine counterpart. You there's no divine counterpart, but yet you the divine counterpart. All these people fighting over you. These are exes. All these exes from your past, even family members fighting over your energy. They listen. They fighting to come back in because they want to work with you, but you told them no. Nope. And it's like they nervous to be around you. Like I said, they can't speak about something. It's like whatever they can't speak on is what they try to like do to you. Project with spells, whatever they was thinking, whatever they were saying, planning. So how, if they can't speak on it, what make them think they can be around you? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, listen. This situation is not going to be successful. Yeah, listen, they need to move on. Y'all not going to be together. There's no being together. I don't like how this person, they try to confuse your mind a lot to make you believe that y'all meant to be. <coughs> they could have did this today. And then in the midst, it's, it's weird because in the midst of them doing that, they also doing a spell to, to like take your power to, you know, <clears throat> and abuse you with their power. It's really weird. They even was trying to get you to abuse your power. They were trying to make you abuse your power. So you will lose your power. But yet y'all meant to be this person i'm telling you i see it they're crossed up and crazy i see it you guys they're never going to get their mind right again they're never they are currently in this state of mind where they can't think straight and they can't talk about what they're thinking of because they can't get it's like they can't get it straight you guys are in the sun energy you guys are the sun you guys are light they are not and it's not like they're like yin yang darkness no like this person they're not even in the darkness that they want to be in or that anyone would want to be in as far as like that high vibrational divine darkness they're not in that all right four pinnacles yeah this person ain't got no money they may actually have four dollars they ain't got no money they trying to say they got a whole bunch of money in the heavens that don't matter because you ain't got it in the damn 3d all right it's, and they're not manifesting to bring it here it's like the thing is it don't matter for them because they're not doing the proper work manifestation work to plant those heavenly seeds into the 3d they're not doing that so it don't matter what they got they, they ain't got no job <clears throat> they need to get a job all right with this dang ten of swords here what is this this is an ending they're going through a lot right now an ending they see themselves getting murdered they're saying they they see it they they see and feel murder on them they listen and people is just like they, they sound crazy they listen mm -hmm. yeah and i feel like with this five of swords they try to win at all costs and all it led them was was the four pinnacles restricted and financially restricted with this king of swords somebody is watching them 
and it's like whoever's look okay somebody's looking at them or they could be being watched by like an investigator or something but with this king of swords it's like somebody is like watching them as they like explain how they feel all these things happening to them in their life and on all that. And somebody's looking at them like, you know, I have a clear mind with this King of Swords. I have clear intelligence and I see that you clearly not in your right mind. I can clearly see the confusion and the fuzziness over you. And it's from what they're unhinged. People can see that they're unhinged. They need help. And it's from their spell where they are unhinged star seeds. And they're trying to hide and pretend like that's not happening. I don't see how they can hide this. I don't see how they can hide this. They can't though. That's the thing. That's why they talking off the ass. They they talk they talking all type of truth like they drunk. Listen, y'all, they can't no longer. It's like yeah. soon they're not gonna be able to be in their head any longer. Like soon they're gonna be like, I can no longer take this. All right, they just gonna freaking let it all out. What they've been going through. Like this person, they're crazy. The moment that they say you stealing from them, people know that they're crazy because ain't nothing happening to them. People say, I don't see nothing happening to you. I don't see nothing is wrong. I don't see what's, what, what's bad is that they won't fix their life. They won't clean up. They won't wash their hair or wash their ass. You know, they won't mow the lawn. All right. They won't shave. All right. They won't do nothing. <coughs> yeah, I'm getting a father figure could be telling them like they need to get up. They think, listen, they need to stop thinking about you. That's the problem. And they like, and they tell me, I can't stop thinking about you. And it's you. You're doing spells. People, listen. They want people to believe that it's you doing the spells, but people can't see you doing the spells because y'all not together. They're saying you're doing spells to get them to think about them, so you won't, so they won't move on. But you moved on, and you're doing you, and and, and you're doing all these terrible things, and you're talking about them, and blah blah blah. It doesn't add up. So they're confused, and they're trying to make people believe like I'm not confused. I'm more powerful than you. I'm stronger than you. I know what I'm talking about, and they don't know what they're talking about. All right, this false masculine man, he is having a fall from grace. And he can't believe it. He can't get his mind right. His mind is like it's not straight. It's almost like he could be lying a lot, too. That could be another reason why his mind ain't right, because he lie a lot. That's the reason why he can't speak on something, because it's like he can't lie anymore. He's afraid to lie. But it's almost like his head is not 100% screwed on. All right, it's so weird. Yeah, he because he is so hurt. And I feel like he did have people mad at you because he did in the beginning. I feel like he had people thinking you were doing stuff. But people are realizing it's this person. All right, and they it's like they want people to hurt you and harm you. That's why they was lying, telling people to, to, to do things. But even if this, these people were mad at you, they were still telling them to move on. All right, but I feel like people was, really saw the reality of it as well is that you know, maybe like, like I said, they could have believed them in the beginning, but they're realizing like this person is having a hard time moving on and they need to just work on themselves so they can move on the right way. Yeah, they're having a hard time moving on. People can see that. All right. People can see that. Even though they was lying and trying to convince people. And I feel like maybe for like, I'm even getting like for a split second. People could have believed them until they realized, like, this person is having a hard time moving on from you because they know what they did. And people could have told, you know, other people could have told the truth about what happened with this person, other people that was involved. Like, this is what's happening because they don't want to be involved anymore. Yeah, this person, they're, like, left down the cold, y'all. <laughs> and that's how they feel. Cold in their heart, depressed. And I feel like another reason why they can't explain it is because they haven't moved on from you. And, they, and they're afraid to tell people that they, they still, you know, secretly caught up on you. And in, in your energy with this moon, it's like this is in their subconscious. Like this, I don't know why they was waiting on you for this long. What made them think y'all was going to get back together? They can't be trusting the devil and what the devil say. The devil didn't lie. The devil worked for you. The devil made sure you got away from that shit. But they want to reconcile secretly, and they could be denying that too in the in 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 the conscious world. But subconsciously, they they know they do, and other people can see it too. They just afraid to admit it because they people gonna be looking at them like, "Are you crazy? Like, what is wrong with you? Why do you still want to be with this person? Y'all not talking. You guys are not together. They was even telling people like in their head, like in my head, y'all together. They yeah, this person man, they done lost their mind. And they do not want to tell you this, but I'm telling y'all, in the past, and I feel like even like moving forward, they're going to be all in their head about this, about how 
Well, hold on, hold on. In the past, and I'm getting moving and, and moving forward, they're going to be thinking about the past. Okay, hold on. In the past, they was thinking about the past between y'all two. And now moving forward, they're going to be thinking about the recent past. Okay, and it's gonna be messing with their head a lot too. It's like this person's being attacked by the past a lot because it's their past. They need to they need to heal. They need to heal their past by doing better, making better choices. But all that, you know, craziness, talking out the ass, saying all type of crazy stuff about you and saying how in their head they believe y'all together and even saying y'all gonna get back together, that shit is haunting them. And I feel like moving on, moving forward in the future, that shit is gonna be haunting them. Like that's their truth. To know that they're crazy when they did all that shit. And and they know that y'all are not together. But a part of them wanted to believe it. And then they started to actually believe it. And then be like, no, we are together. We are getting back together. And then, then they'll shut down and be like, oh, we yeah, we're not back together. You know, whatever, whatever. And then they'll get right back in the energy. They, they was going crazy. All right? They was. I'm telling you, I, I'm not trying to lie on this person. They was. And with this justice... They couldn't see karma in this. They couldn't. So that's why they were sitting in so much conflict. It's like they ignored karma. And was like and ignored the, car, the the laws of karma. And they were just like, you know what? I'm just about to come for you and, and take everything that you have. They need to heal. They do. Because in their mind, they're still thinking about how they was trying to take from you. Yeah, with this nine of wands here, acting all flighty in and out of your energy <clears throat> thinking they can take from you talking all childish this person was an abrasive energy <clears throat> and like slow energy too like their mind is slow four of cups and they may drink a lot all right they and they are in denial about what they did that people blatantly saw them do they they had meltdowns and people saw them have these meltdowns they could listen oh this is weird Somebody was thinking about making love to their own dad. You see, this is why this person, they made, I feel like their, their, their thoughts is, is, is those, those thoughts make them feel like they want to die. Like, I can't believe I thought that. Like, they couldn't, this is why they know that wasn't their energy and they can't unthink it. This, this is bad judgment for them. But, and, and it's, and, and it's like, it's being exposed to them. Like they're being judged for all the death threats that they were sending out towards you. All those dark thoughts had nothing to do with you. All right. They was like plotting on like incest, like having sex with a family member. I did pick this up that a karmic was. All right. And and, <clears throat> and now I'm getting, okay. I picked up that a karmic did slept with a family member. Now I'm getting um, that there was, it could, it could be the same karmic energy. But I'm getting, this is a karmic that was wishing. Like, I wish I could sleep with my family. I wish I could do this. Now, they are dealing with a batch of karmic energies that either slept with their family member or they was plotting, like, wishing that they could. That's just how perverted they were. All right, you could have been a family member. They wish they could have slept with you. But they, and they, they would never admit this to you, obviously. Why would they? But I'm telling y'all, so y'all need to be careful. All right, I feel like y'all moved on from this, but this devil is still following you. All right, trying to get back at you. Or, or, well, this devil was following you, trying to get back at you. All right, but they're facing karma. They know they can't get you. All this picture magic and stuff, that shit ain't working either. Okay. This is crazy. You guys have a gift, and this person is trying to gift, take that gift away from you, a gift of sight, and then thinking that y'all going to get back together. And then was plotting and hoping that y'all get back together, and you have no gifts, and they have all their gifts back. Then they wanted your destiny so badly, you guys. They wanted it so badly. I kept seeing it. Every time I looked at that Wheel of Fortune, I just kept getting someone looking down on your destiny and saying that they want your destiny because they see you blessed, but they're looking down on it because it's almost like you have a... It's like the power that comes from your destiny, this power that comes from your destiny, like you're meant to be in a leadership role. And this is what they're missing out on. So they decided to like try to slow you down from your blessings, your your destiny, your ace of cups, which is your destiny, and that got destroyed. Every time they try to slow you down, that got destroyed, and you guys will feel it. Y'all just have to clear your energy with this judgment. Yes, listen, y'all. I've been told y'all they was conjuring stuff from the grave, but I feel like those things that they conjured is attacking them. All right, they thought that they can cloak themselves with your energy, so no spirit will come back around onto them. But them spirits still found them. They're stupid, and they was even trying to communicate with the dead. Somebody in their family told someone else that they was talking with the dead, 
and they denied it, but they was here. Yeah, I told you they denied it, but they was. With the four of cups, that's deniable. With the six of wands, that's like <clears throat> accurate energy. All right, and this person will lie. This person will lie. All right, the six of wands would be a yes card. They will lie. All right, and other people would know, like, yeah, they are, they're lying. They're not telling the truth. Like, they, the, like, they expose the truth, too, by them saying certain things. They might have said, I ain't wasn't talking to the dead, but they were saying stuff like, yeah, I conjure, I work with spirits. That's just as equivalent to talking with the dead. You get what I'm saying? Like, they, 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 they was better off just telling the truth. Whoever this knight of wands is that's flighty, always in and out of your energy and always in and out of his own energy and the demon's energy he's just always in and out of <clears throat> like his energy <clears throat> demonic energy like he a shapeshifter too all right like his energy be shifting switching a lot and other people looking at him like they're not the same and in full while people like you know not people but i'm also getting like the people who they was working with in that group setting for a while they was believing and thinking that you was doing something to them all right which is why they was helping them take you down but now they're seeing that this karmic is just crazy it was now they now they're saying it was never you it was never you it was always this karmic they should have just left you alone like they were speculating they the one who came up with that idea <coughs> or that thought to do this or to do that and it backfired on all of them they had no business doing it they thought like they had business doing it like i can do this but they wasn't seeing things clearly now they see that they can't do this okay <clears throat> someone in their family was helping them yeah this three of cups somebody in their family was like you know helping them do spells and rituals and i'm also seeing other people in their family that was not down for that that may not do magic or may be aware of it, but they're like, I don't, I don't F with it the way that you, that you do. All right. And they all knew that this person was lying because they could have did magic in the past. All right. Mommy. Hmm? Maybe they came yesterday and it's probably It's not in the, mail. I checked the mailbox yesterday. The mail person comes one time a day. But, um... <clears throat> Yeah, this person needs to grow up. They betrayed themselves. They betrayed themselves, y'all. They betrayed themselves. Trying to, they're, they're trying to send you this tower. It's like they can't see whatever tower <clears throat> that they were sending towards you. That's what I'm getting. Like they was, it's almost like this person wanted to see the spells and attacks that they will send towards you in the ethers, and they couldn't see it. And that should have been their sign that they can't send the tower if they can't see the tower. But they thought, well, if I can't see it, that I can still send it. Like no. Because a part of that tower was for you to just for you to be destroyed, right? And I <clears throat> and and listen, I told you this person was missing light and dark. So it was like they would they would do a spell for you to catch a tower, and then and then at the same time they also do a spell for them to be able to like see better, have a vision. Like you will be destroyed, that tower will destroy you, and then they'll be able to have your vision, be able to have your psychic senses. So by them not being able to see the tower, should have showed them that there was no tower. This, they, and they're so confused about karma. I don't know why they confuse themselves about karma. I never saw nothing like this in my life where somebody like chose to look at something in a, in a slow way. And they want to say like they're not slow and that's karmic that you're saying that they're slow. You're judging them. And they were judging you and called you slow and think that you slow. And you're not. I feel like this is karmic justice here. All right, this person, I'm getting, they're still confused about justice. They're still confused about karma. Like, they could be trying to read tarot. How are they confused about justice? It's because they can't read the energy. They don't know where it's coming from. It's, it's, you're reading your own energy, karma. You're facing karma. Especially if you get the devil after it, the eight of swords. You already know what time it is. All right, with this justice and the nine of pentacles, this is like you guys receiving... A settlement, reaping your rewards, karmic reward. This is your karmic reward. Yeah. And, and and this is a karmic ending as well. With this nine of swords, I feel like they wanted your karmic reward to be a nine of swords. And that's what they got. They were trying to switch your karmic rewards from the nine of pentacles to the nine of swords. And they got the nine of swords while they see you with the nine of pentacles and the will of fortune. Universe, double blessed. I told y'all yesterday. Double blessing from God and universe. All right. This person may not believe in a God in a universe. They believe it's just only one thing, but there is a God in a universe. 
all right this story may be told differently but there is a god in the universe okay and this person look at you as a know-it-all because you know certain things that they don't know and they want to deny that and say that's not true that's not the reason why i don't know because you know i don't want to know but you want to know everything because you want to know everything like that doesn't make any sense and they were telling people that in their family like you want to know everything and you want to know everything about they they purposely lie to their family to make them hate you like oh you tap you purposely tapping into the family energy you want to you want to be a part you want the family's name and it's like people they're realizing that shit is not true maybe in the beginning they like i said for a split second they probably thought that was true but they realized that's stupid like you and them are not together if you wanted all that y'all would be together you won't need to do a love spell at a distance while y'all broken up y'all would still be together it would have been there would have been no breaking up because the love spell would have had y'all together y'all broke up you get what i'm saying so like i don't get it or this could be a, a ex-friend all right she's still confused about your energy she don't know what's going on with her she needs to just follow her own path a lot of these karmics they they the thing is they don't know what's going on because they don't know what's coming in for them as far as like you know what's like as far as like what happened with between you and them but i i generally feel these people know what's going on with them when it come down to their life they they just don't know because of karma they don't know what's going to happen next but you know what you need to do you know what direction you need to go come on now the average homeless man know what path he needs to do what path he needs to go down he just chooses not to do it because he, he prefer to be homeless all right maybe the resources ain't right to, ain't, like where he is right now he may need to travel to get to those resources like i was saying the average homeless man know what he needs to do some of y'all could have had a dr pepper or a root beer or some type like a root a root beer float or like a mint okay something could have tasted like minty all right but um a karmic feminine may need to brush her teeth maybe her mouth is like I, i'm getting like a parched mouth like her mouth could be dry a lot she could be dehydrated she need to drink some water but she's carrying a lot around a lot of heavy energy she tried to block your intuition too whoever this karmic friend is <clears throat> remember we picked up towards the end she's she's carrying around a, head, a lot of heavy burden too because she tried to block your intuition block you from your ancestors she got a lot going on and she was denying it as well denying the fact that she tried to send you a tower to destroy you spiritually and leave you in the hermit where you're like a lost soul separated from your spirit you in the, like a void a dark place and your bloodline picked you up all right even your your um your your children they fought for you in the spirit all right and these karmics they was trying to say your spirits was, your your children was attacking them in the spirit your kids do black magic that's not true but if like listen i feel like when your kids sleeping that's when they do all their little spiritual work it ain't like they had a candle or they trying to ask to travel no and if they attack your mommy in the spirit that your children want to pop up and these karmics they couldn't believe that your whole bloodline know how to fight like your whole bloodline is invested in you know fighting okay hey, do i use this phone yeah. Okay. Like they. What? How do I make the waffle mix? Hold on, money. And I'm getting. They are investing well, in the war, water. and the Pope is down with it. Huh? Yeah, water. yeah. This water, and I'm getting the Pope signs off a lot of um, like he signs a lot of contracts for like things to be like I guess approved or released. All right. Let me let me explain it better. Like, okay, like he he could have signed off for this war to start. All right, well, he could sign off things for, like, you know, like the COVID thing. Let's just say that, use that for example. He, you know, he signed off for that, for that pandemic to happen. He signed off that contract, that deal. I hope I'm making sense, but it's almost like, like certain things that happen in this planet, they go, like, the Pope holds power, and they, they'll go to the Pope, and he will sign it off. Like, yes, this is approved, all right? And now, all of a sudden, you know, we got these wars going on and all this extra stuff, the pandemic, yeah. No, 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 hold on, money. Ask Nana to help you, I'm reading. This is my my business, come on. What the heck? That don't make sense. But anyway, um, yeah, I feel like the Pope allowed, like, he, he signed certain bills for stuff to pass. I just hope that's making sense. And it involves money laundering, wars, certain pandemics here. All right, even with certain, like, you know, um, like with new politicians, all right, he will prove, like, mm -hmm. yes, this can happen. How much water do I add? Add, like, some, not a lot, half a cup. Okay. The king and queen. Hmm. 
they don't really have that much power as people may think okay but the pope do work with the king and queen yeah king of pentacles all right but i just see like the pope has a higher power than the king and queen all right but um yeah they investing in this war right now and i feel like they are also um when they do these wars this is a time no you need more this is a time when, around the time when they do wars this is a time for them like separate parents from their children a lot of kidnapping goes on okay a lot of stuff be happening all right behind closed doors around these times of these wars y'all so and there's definitely a war going on in the cosmos not everyone can see it not everyone is meant to see it because they're not a part of it all right some people they may think if i'm not a part of it that means i'm gonna die no it's just like you are meant to you're like your paradigm slash reality is different from the ones that's a part of it that's just what it is and you shouldn't want to be a part of something that <clears throat> you're not made for you're not equipped for okay but um they're trying to block me from seeing this but all those wars in the past they plot they they funded those wars it was pre premeditated all right, they will plan out wars like 10 years in advance, 20 years in advance. And I feel like that's about to soon end too, all right? And the female the female monarch is coming back. That's what I'm getting. The queens need to start standing up. So I stand up for yourself, queen. Don't allow this false masculine to make you feel less than yourself. But I'm getting this person trying to call you a false queen or the false queen. This is a masculine that do not respect feminines, divine feminines. But... The Queen Monarch is coming back, I'm hearing, and um, it's time for the, for the Queens to step in their warrior mode. Yep, step into their warrior mode, their warrior stance. I'm getting Oshun. She's a warrior, so, you know, step in that warrior Oshun energy. All right. Some of y'all, I'm, I'm seeing some of y'all, like, dressing up as Oshun or wearing certain clothes to represent Oshun, to embody her energy. She likes that. She sees you on the other side doing that, so she appreciates that. She praises that. All right, but it's time for all the real queens, divine feminines to wake up, all right? Especially our melanated queens, okay? The black woman is God. A lot of melanated queens are going to start stepping into their God power, and this is what these reptilians don't like. Look, the star, yeah. That's how I got the divine feminine. The divine feminine is the true stars, the true creators, all right? And the divine feminine is coming back here, all right? Mama Universe is coming back to save her children, all right, and she's fighting for her children right now, big time, double time. All right, she's fighting all across the multiverse for her children. She loves her kids, and she's fighting against these damn devil reptilians. That's so they can explore their options coming here and, and expand their nasty, low vibrational shit over here. And, and again, they could, this karmic could have tried to like, all your karmics could have tried to block you from tapping into the divine feminine energy because they are, and, and they, this, these people need healing. And they didn't realize what they was doing when they did that. They was like, they don't realize, they didn't realize what they was doing when they did that because they didn't realize you are a top notch divine feminine. Like, you're, you are a part of the divine feminine monarch. Okay, so them trying to put you to rest, just put them to rest. <laughs> Clearly, they're not ready to fight this battle because their discernment is off. Sure. Thank you. And with this nine of wands, I feel like these people are nervous. They're wounded spiritually, too. They're wounded, they're nervous, their head hurts. Yeah, look, page of wands came out again. So I feel like somebody's having a hard time tapping into your, to their creative side. All right? And it's because they was trying to attack your crown so you won't be creative. This is a fool. This is a fool. Aries, Aquarius energy here, eight of swords. Somebody was all in their head about you. And they and, and it's because it's like they like really truly they wanted to like meet up with you and do i'm getting like somebody wouldn't do a meet and greet with you or they wanted to like reconcile with you all right they wanted to do that but you wasn't willing so they was like i'm gonna do all these spells like this is like gossip a lot of gossip a lot of gossip here wow a lot of gossip all right and i feel like the gossip been turned into spiritual attacks Okay, it all started with gossip. I think this, I think that about divine feminine. Then it turned into spiritual attack. And this person, they was attacking your love, your love frequency, your love light, your lover. All right, your lover here. They were trying to like, you know, almost like debunk you from an empress to a queen. All right, and, and it's like, they can't do that because for you to be, you know, it's, it's almost like, They can't do that. They can't. Because you, you did what you had to do to upgrade yourself. All right? To that impress status. They can't downgrade you to a queen. All right? 
you being a queen is what made you an empress. Okay? So they can't take that from you. Period. Point blank. And, and you're just as powerful in your queen energy, your empress energy. It all works one with you. Okay? I see you very successful with a lot of gifts. Very well. Wow, wow, wow. A lot of spiritual gifts. A lot of talent. Spiritual talent. All right? You're going to make a lot of money. You're going to be extremely successful. Just keep believing in yourself. A lot of people don't trust and believe in your intuition because they feel and think that it's wrong and they know it's not wrong but they want you to feel and think that because they think it that is wrong about something even though they know that it's right they still in their mind like your intuition is wrong it was their little inner child they, they need to heal that they got a little devious side they need to heal that whenever they if they claim they're divine feminine and they're pure they're light they need to heal that little demonic side that makes them do wicked evil shit that gets them unaligned and knocks them out of alignment Okay, but like this person, they all of them try to block you from tapping into the stars, block you from tapping into the light and dark side of the cosmos. They were trying to block you from working with light and dark. They wanted you to walk away from your light and dark self, your light and dark impress. They really tried, they tried a lot, and it was wrong. And now these people, they can't tap in, they can't see things the way that they were seeing it. All right, and they always trying to pull on your energy so they can see, like, you're like, maybe I need to be like Divine Feminine. Maybe I need to practice what Divine Feminine say. But they can't they can't do that anymore by saying, maybe I can, you know, tap into Divine Feminine energy. Maybe I should do what she does. They can't do that no more because they don't disrespect you enough. They think your ancestors are going to allow you to do that? I mean, going to allow them to do that? Do they really think that? Some of y'all like boil you peanuts. That's not the first time I picked that up. Yeah, but this karma, they're, they're stuck in confusion. They can't figure out light and dark, the the, the formulas, the principles of light and dark. They just need to research. But they they feel like they're not gonna find the right research. They wanna go. They want they wanna go through you. Everything is through you. These people took advantage of you, man. For a lot of you guys, these people had you not even wanting to be spiritual no more. All right, for some of y'all. All right, but it's not, it's not. It wasn't like full effect. It just you was like you like you know you're tired of feeling these people energy. Like their energy made you feel down. Like it just made you like damn. As long as y'all here, I'm never gonna be able to to enjoy myself. <clears throat> but you know it's time to switch that reality because that's you giving them control of your reality. It's not up to them for you to be spiritual. It's up to you. So don't allow their negative light make you feel like you can't be spiritual because they're around. They're watching you. They're projecting. They're thinking of you. So what? Everybody's going to think about you. People are going to think about you until they can't think about you no more. All right? It's up to us to, to control how we, how we react to it. And we have to accept our gifts. A part of our gifts is reading other thoughts. If you find yourself picking up on a whole bunch of thoughts, first accept that it's not your thoughts and then send the thought back. Okay, so yeah. Hello, I'm good. Good morning. But um, yeah, you guys, just just continue to think positive. Positive energy leads to the best results. So don't give up. Love y'all. I'm safe.